Hey guys, it's me Stingray. I'm a professional EAFC player for Guild Esports and I'm here with Fuckbin to show you my pro custom controller settings. Okay, so first of all, you have to have the competitive preset on to play competitive mode, which is pretty self-explanatory really. So then we go and put time finishing on. Time finishing makes your shots 10 times better if you green time them. It's a bit of a risk equals reward factor, but if you're a pro and if you're good enough and you dedicate enough time to learn it, green timer can change your whole game. So then we go all the way down to, so then we go all the way down to auto switching. Personally, I like to put auto switching on manual because I like to have my own control. I don't like to be able to blame anything else if the game's switching me to the wrong player or if it's switching me when I don't want it to switch me at all. I just like to have my, the own comfort, you know, the own thought that it's me. Right stick switching has to be classic. I know sometimes it can put you on adaptive, but make sure every single time it's on classic. Adaptive makes your game 10 times laggier, 10 times slower, and it just ruins your whole game experience, really. And next thing, which is massive for me, I love doing this, it's player lock. I'm a massive player lock fan. You know, it's a bit too good at the moment, it's a bit too overpowered. I'm not afraid to admit I use it. I'm a bit of a rat for it, but I want to do what I want to do to win, you know? In terms of my camera settings, these are the ones I use. So I always go for co-op. I think it's the best. I think it's always been the best for, just since the game's come out, really. And I like to put my height all the way up to 17. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit higher. But we, you know, we counter that with the zoom only being three. It allows you to see more of your players, more of the pitch, just get a general understanding of how the game's going to play out. And the one thing I personally cannot stand this year is penalty area zoom. I think that has to be zero. You don't want your camera set and change when you're defending or attacking. You don't want it chain. You don't want to get any of that motion sickness. And I think that being zero just makes your game whole. Okay, guys, that was me, Stingray, alongside Fuckbin, showing you my pro custom camera settings and controller settings. I hope this helps elevate your game and make sure to like, comment and subscribe.